Hi everybody. I uh, this is not a painting video, so uh, you're probably wondering what's she doing. Uh, this is a video that I've been thinking about doing. Um, actually, for about two three months now, and was going to share it with you all, and had a little discussion with my daughter, and she said, "Mom, I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, not with the painting." But I've been led to do this video. As you all know, I'm very spiritual. Uh, if you saw my painting video about the thank you and appreciation to my spiritual family, I, um, as, as I said, I'm, I'm very spiritual and I'm very metaphysical. I was brought up in a family that was like that. So I have been working on my uh, personal um, spiritual well-being and um, I know I've always known that I've been psychic ever since I was a little girl uh, probably about four or five and I have been meditating um, really working on that every single day now for the past three years and I have also uh, increased my psychic ability and through watching YouTube's on video, on, on video, through watching videos on YouTube, I saw several of the readers that I listened to using pendulums and it intrigued me. And I, um, with Sheila with um, Celtic Tarot, I watched her do some of her pendulum work. And then I watched um, Lena Rodriguez do a past life reading on Jen Lin and with a pendulum, actually a very large pendulum if I remember. And I found that absolutely fascinating. So it led me to uh, seek out, interested in getting myself a pendulum. So I'm about to tell you the story of how I got a pendulum. I went to a local crystal store here in Orlando and uh, where I buy all my crystals and that type of thing, my sage. Um, and I was looking around and, and I saw some pendulums there by the cash register. And uh, as you can see, glasses on my head. Um, I can't see anything up close, so I always have to, you always see me taking on and off my glasses. I put my glasses on, and as I'm, you know, approaching the, the, the pendulums to look at each one, I'm putting my hand out. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch any of them. And as I'm getting closer and closer and closer, all of a sudden, this pendulum literally jumps into my hand and I don't mean fall into my hand. I don't mean, you know, it, it literally, it was on a little prong thing like this and the, and it was hanging, you know, hanging like this. It had a little ball at the top here and it literally leaped off and fell right into the palm of my hand. It literally scared the crap out of me. And I stood there and I'm like, ah, uh, did anybody else see this? Am I going crazy here? Did this thing literally leap out of its holder and land in my hand? So I stood there and I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is beautiful. And I'm like, okay, I guess you're coming home with me. So I brought it home and I, I did all of the things. I looked into it before I went there that they, you have to clean them. You have to cleanse it. I cleansed it, I saged it, I um, kept it on me for several days. I, I really just kind of made it a part of me so that, you know, we could get my energy into it. And as I started working with it, um, I discovered that I have a spirit guide that I was unaware of. Her name is Kobe. And Kobe came through the pendulum. So that is why I'm calling this video Channeling Kobe 
through a pendulum. So what I thought was if you would ask your questions below and after you see this video and you see how it works, if you'll post your questions to Kobe and then what I will do is I will ask Kobe to answer your questions and then I will respond back to you uh, by email by or you know do the comment section so we're gonna try that see how this goes and how it works so hopefully you'll watch what's gonna happen it's very magical and I hope you really really enjoy this thank you so much for joining me and I'm sorry this isn't a painting video but I think this is something very interesting that you'll enjoy and like very much so stay tuned hi everybody so you ready are you ready i'm excited i can't wait i just want to let you know that i did um do my blessings and my protection already and kobe is ready um and I want to let you know you're going to see me move a, um, a, a alphabet grid around with my left hand. Um, the reason being is because, as I said, I am channeling Kobe. So I already pretty much know what she's about to say, and I know where the where she's wanting me to move the pendulum. So here we go and i she oh i did talk to her earlier today and i asked her i said well, what do you think that you would like to uh do as a demonstration and she said she wanted to do lucky next uh 2021 lucky ast astrology uh uh Oh, good Lord, I just drew a mental blank. Who's going to be lucky in 2021 for all the 12 zodiac signs? So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to see what else she comes up with. Okay. All right. So let me adjust the camera and I'll be right back. Okay. So this is the alphabet grid. This is the pendulum I was talking about. Isn't it pretty? Very pretty. And I do have a piece of Moldavite. I'm sorry, Moldavite. And a piece of Labradorite. Um, this increases my uh, ability uh, to perceive. And it, um, it uh, raises my vibration. I keep it very close and Kobe likes it. So, you ready? All right, Kobe, you with us? Can you say hi to the audience? Hi. Very. Pleased. To be here. Well, we're very glad to have you with us, Kobe, and I thank you so much. We are recording this, so 
I'm going to explain to them that I, I move the, the chart back and forth and I keep my right arm completely stable because um, you and I know the feeling of it, of what we're conversating about. I do, as I said, have the labradorite and the moldavite here. I'm going to put them a little off to the side because I've got to move this chart around. So Kobe said this afternoon that she would like to tell us what uh, zodiac signs in 2021 will be very lucky. So Kobe, if you're ready, tell us what signs are going to be the most lucky. G, E, M, I, so Gemini, yes. S A G So it looks like she's Sagittarius. Okay. And uh sometimes I've gotten used to what she's saying to me, so I don't, you know, take the time to have her spell out things. And who else? Is there anybody else, Kobe? Pisces, okay. Any more? Okay, so it looks like Gemini, Sagittarius, and Spice Pisces. So, Kobe, oh, she's about to say something. I. W. U. U, I'm sorry. L, you would. L, I, A, like. Two. T. You notice I always bring it back to center. A L You'd like to talk A B O About T H, the, U, S, W, E, A, T, H, the U.S. weather. You want to talk about the U.S. weather? Okay, what do you want to tell us? I, it, is, I, is, yes, G, O, I N going 
Seven. B. 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 A. C. O. L. Cold. Cold winter. A. And. I. Have you? You would huh? L I like T to S. U G G suggests T H A that You, yes, you, G, E, T, A, You. Where are you going with this? A R a warm oh. B L A Are you spelling out blanket? So you suggest for us to get a warm blanket? Oh, that's really sweet, honey. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, do you have anything else that you want to say to anybody for tonight? No? You're done? Okay, she's done. I love you. Bye. And you love. You love me. Love you too. There she goes. Okay. So. Hope you all enjoyed that. It is fascinating, isn't it? As you can see, my right hand is not moving. She is doing all the, oh, see, she's shaking. She does that when it's a lot of energy going on. When I put the Moldavite by it, she really, see, a lot of energy. Lots and lots of energy. So, go ahead and as I asked you earlier, post the questions to Kobe. You can either email me or write them in the comments.
please give me your first name and last initial. And I will do my best to get back with you with the answers. And as the, uh, the on each and every video that I'm going to do, I will um, disclose more and more what Kobe has shared with me about her and uh, about my past lives. So I think it will be a really fascinating journey. All right, everybody. Good night. Um, very excited to see your, your questions. So let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.